Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and in today's After Effects tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do an iconic Mr. Beast explosion. How to animate a motion graphic to shatter into a million pieces. How to make sick car animations by turning on a car's lights, even when they're off. And how to turn literally any footage into a CCTV looking shot. And more. And all the footage I'm going to be using to show off these effects were all sourced and gathered from my amazing sponsor, Storybox. All right, to start this video off, I'm gonna show you how to shatter this After Effects logo into a million pieces. This effect Mr. Beast uses in his videos to create a really engaging visual. So you're just gonna grab whatever you wanna shatter. For me, it's gonna be this After Effects logo, but you can also do this with like a text layer, a picture, anything. I'm gonna make sure that it's above the bat because I'm gonna make it look like the bat is what's breaking this thing. And the effect we're gonna use actually stays within the confines of a layer. So you can see here, when it shatters, it's actually just staying inside the bounds of the After Effects graphic. When this is what we want, where the After Effects is shattering throughout the entire composition. So before we put any effect on this, once you've positioned your logo or your graphic, I'm gonna right click and hit pre-compose. I'm just gonna name this Shatter Logo. And in Effects and Presets, we're gonna type in Pixel Poly, and we'll grab CC Pixel Poly and put that on top of our pre-comp. You'll notice that your graphic disappears, but have no worries. It's actually shattered here at the beginning of the composition. You can see in the effect controls that it has a start time, and right now it's set at zero, so the animation starts at zero seconds by default. So I'm just gonna go over in the composition right here when my bat gets swung, and right here is where I want this animation to start. So over here in effect controls, I'm just gonna grab the start time and crank it up until we're right there at that moment. This looks like it's um, timed just right. You can always fine tune it a little. I think this looks good. So you can see that all of these are shattering to the left when my bat is swinging in the other direction. So in your effect controls, you'll see the force center. We'll click on this little button here and we'll just move the force center to be in the middle like this here. So you can see this is gonna control the direction in which all of these things are shattering. So I'm just gonna put it, so I'm just gonna put it right in the middle, closer to where the bat is. So it looks like this. Now, quite frankly, I feel like all of these pieces are coming down too quick. So what I like to do is over in effect controls under gravity, we're going to set it to zero. So this is what it's like with zero gravity. It doesn't fall straight down, but shoots straight at the camera. I love this look. And then of course right now there's like so many pieces, but if you wanted to maybe make it not so crazy, you'll see under effect controls grid spacing right now it's at 25. I can just crank that up to be much bigger, maybe like 73. And now it's going to break off into bigger chunks the higher the grid spacing is. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you break any kind of graphic into a thousand pieces in After Effects. The next effect is desaturating a person or a team to showcase that they've been eliminated or maybe that this is a flashback. You can see here I'm making it look like this red team lost by desaturating their jerseys to red for this entire handshake. And also I have these basketball players here in red jerseys and I'm desaturating their jerseys to gray. Maybe this is a flashback or maybe they just got eliminated as well. So this effect is fairly easy and effects and presets we're actually going to look up an effect called change color. Change color right here and we're going to drag that on top of our clip and what we're going to do is we're going to color to change right here. We're going to grab the eyedropper tool and just select the color we want to desaturate. In this case it's going to be red and I'll just show you really quick under hue transform and effect controls I can crank that up to change this color of red. You'll notice it's really weird looking the way it's changing the red. The way to fix this is under match colors, instead of using RGB, we're gonna use hue. It will change all the different slight differentiating shades of red. So once you have your red selected, you can go over to your saturation transform right here, create a keyframe, and then over a few seconds, I will just bring the saturation transform to zero. So over time, your characters will just turn gray. You will notice there's this weird artifact going on where it's desaturating too much red and it's affecting like their neck, and their face and whatnot, and that's actually a pretty easy fix. So you'll see the reason why we use this specific plugin for like quick desaturating of an entire group is because it has all of these different fine tuning controls. So for example, right here, matching tolerance, it's at 15%. We'll just lower matching tolerance so less similar colors to that red will get affected. So like watch this guy's face here. I'm gonna decrease matching tolerance 
and you're gonna see the gray is no longer gonna affect his face. And with two keyframes on the saturation, this entire red team gets desaturated all at once and you don't have to like mask anybody out or do anything crazy. And it's a clear, fun visual indicator that these guys are losers. The next effect is how to stylize any footage to look like CCTV footage. In Mr. Beast's most recent video about a prison experiment, he uses this a lot. You can tell he just mounted a bunch of GoPros everywhere, but then used this technique I'm about to show you to make it look like it was real prison, like security CCTV footage. And of course, his amazing footage we're looking at right now is from Storyblocks. So first thing, let's look at the footage. You see how everything is super crispy and smooth. Most security cameras aren't that smooth. And so what we're gonna do to start is we're gonna type in the effect posterize and you'll find posterize time and we're gonna throw that on this clip and instead of 24 frames we're gonna set posterize time to 15. Now here's a little before and after you can tell this is just a little more choppy looking. If we type that in again posterize into effects and presets you'll see that there's effects literally called posterize. We're gonna drag that onto our clip as well and you'll see what's happened is it's making the footage like lower quality and you can see in the Mr. Beast footage it's got this interesting like banding on the ground that they're using and how they do this in After Effects is this effect posterize. But this is obviously a little too intense so I'm actually just gonna drag posterize up a little bit well maybe set it to like 12. So now we have posterized time and posterized on there. And so now the footage looks juicy and low quality. So now if we go to effects and presets and type in Venetian, we're gonna grab the effect of Venetian blinds and put that onto our layer. So what we're gonna do is change the direction to 90 and then watch this. If you crank up transition, you're getting these little lines. And you can see in the Mr. Beast video, they have these little digital lines, which is obviously trying to replicate like digital footage. And in effects and presets, you can change the width of Venetian blinds to make it more subtle or more big like this. And I think the more subtle look like this looks really nice. And in effects and presets, if we type in hue, we're gonna grab a hue and saturation, throw that on there. And we're just gonna desaturate this a little bit. That looks good. A slight desaturation is good because like if we just take all the effects off, this footage is way too like high quality and colorful to have like security camera vibes. So you always wanna desaturate it just a little bit. And bam, you have super sexy custom CCTV footage. So the next effect is how Mr. Beast makes a cool car animation. You can see in this example, he has all these quick B-roll clips of this car. And even though the car is off, he's animating the headlights to turn on. He has flames like shooting out of the back, but we're gonna focus on how to turn on any light that's off. This is a cool stylistic way to animate any car that you have in a video, just to make it a little more flashy and eye-catching when you're cutting to the car. Let me break it down. So we are gonna duplicate our car footage and I'm just gonna grab the pin tool and we're going to mask out the headlights. Beautiful, we'll start with the left headlight for now. So what we're gonna do, here I'll name this left headlight. In effects and presets, we're gonna type in the effect glow. I'm gonna drag glow on top of our headlight here and you see nothing's really happening. Under gl glow threshold, you're just gonna crank this all the way down to the left like this. So more of this gets lit up. And so now if we go to effects and presets and you type in CC radial, you'll see this one right here. You want CC radial fast blur. Drag that onto our clip. You can see what's happening already. If we grab in the effect controls, you'll see center. Let's put center over here. You can see what is happening. And now to make this even sexier and the layers panel, we're gonna set the blending mode to add. Nice. So I'm just gonna crank up the amount so you can see we're creating this light beam that's shooting out of the car. And when you move the center around, you can create a custom beam shooting out of the headlight. Maybe like right there looks good. You can see we can make this beam longer or shorter depending on how much you crank up the amount. And, and if you want more light to be coming out of the headlight on the glow effect, you can always crank down the glow threshold so more of this is bright. And so now we can make a cool animation like this where we have the fast blur like low and then we crank it up like this so we can animate the headlights to be shooting out. So I'll create a keyframe right now at the amount I like, which is 100. And at the beginning of the composition, I will set this down to zero. So I'll grab these two keyframes, right click and easy ease them. So now I have this great animation of this headlight 
turning really bright. And if you don't like how intense and bright it is right before it shoots out like this, what we can do is keyframe the glow threshold to be this bright, but go over left a few frames. And we'll just bring the glow threshold up to something like this that looks a little bit more normal. I have the glow threshold at 52 here. So over a few frames, everything gets bright and shoots out. And so now we have this beautiful animation of the headlight turning on. And of course, you can just rinse and repeat that for the second headlight. And so now you can create a cool car animation like this where you're animating the headlights to turn on and shoot out big, bright beams. Just a fun, quick, spicy way to make a car clip more engaging, just like Mr. Beast. Now it's time to show you how to do this incredible explosion right here in After Effects. There are honestly lots of great explosions in Mr. Beast's video, and I'm gonna show you how to composite a perfect explosion here in After Effects. So step one for me was finding the perfect footage to animate an explosion into. So I was able to find this absolutely perfect clip. There's nothing more cinematic than someone jumping in front of an explosion. But I was able to use story blocks to get this shot in every single example footage I'm using in today's tutorial. And if you're like me and you want to practice your animation skills constantly so you can get better, sign up for story blocks and download all the different clips that you can do different effects with. You can use this clip to turn into CCTV footage. You could download this clip and animated explosion into. Bottom line, as an animator, you need to practice your effects. And sometimes you don't have enough time or the resources to shoot your own footage to practice these editing techniques. So sign up for Storyblocks so you can start practicing on professional footage. Plus, it's a monthly or annual subscription, so you don't have to pay per clip. And once you sign up and pay one time, you get unlimited downloads of the millions of assets that they have on their websites. And for me, I'm using stock footage, but you can also do music, sound effects. They have After Effects templates. And now if you go to storyblocks.com slash Will Carmack, you will get two extra months free when you sign up for an annual plan. Okay, now let me show you how to do Mr. Beastie explosions. So the first two steps are gonna be to mask and track this. So we're gonna come up to the top and grab our rotor brush tool. We're gonna duplicate our footage and just start masking on this extra clip. Looks super good. She gonna look like this. And then on our original footage, we're gonna come over to the tracker panel here on the right side of After Effects and we're just gonna hit track camera. And once everything's tracked, you'll see these colorful dots, which I call Skittles. This one's good, so I'm gonna right click and actually gonna hit create solid and and a camera. You can see it's tracked into the scene really well. What we're gonna do is actually move it to the left. So we'll put this solid behind the mask. And we're using this solid as a placeholder for an explosion. So I'm gonna bring an explosion into After Effects here. You see it's this big guy here. I'm actually going to right click and hit reveal source in project and I'll delete the one that's in the composition. So here's an incredible way to put an asset into the scene. What I'm gonna do is hold the alt button while I click and drag this on top of the track side. Solid. And then when you let go, what happened is your track solid has now been replaced with the asset that you were holding alt for, which is this explosion. So now I'll move the explosion down and scale it up really big. I'll reorient it to be facing the camera. And so now the explosion is tracked into the scene exactly where that solid was. So she jumps and the explosion happens. This looks super good. Now there's a few very important things we're gonna do to make this explosion look incredible. We need to do something called a light wrap which means taking the background and perfectly blending it into the foreground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the 3D tracker camera, the explosion, and the original footage. So we're just leaving the mask out. What we're gonna do is actually duplicate all three of these layers, bring them to the top, right click and pre-compose, and we're gonna name this for wrap. And we can actually drag this pre-comp to the very bottom of the uh, layers panel and we're gonna make it invisible. And now we're gonna take our mask. We're going to duplicate it. And this duplicated mask, we're gonna right click, pre-compose, and we're gonna name this light wrap. So on our light wrap layer, we're gonna go to effects and presets. And we're gonna type in crate and we're just gonna grab crates light wrap right here. And we're gonna put that on our light, light wrap layer. When you see it, it's gonna blow your mind guys. So now what we're going to do is on the the creates light wrap layer. We're going to select the background layer of for wrap. Bam. So obviously this looks a little crazy right now, but what has now happened is this layer is now looking at the explosion and putting what's on the explosion on top of her. So what we're gonna do is in the view, instead of final composite, we're actually gonna do wrap solo. So this layer is literally just the light wrap. 
So you have the girl and then the light wrap on top of her. And what we're gonna do with the light wrap, we're going to change the wrap width from 100 to be something like maybe like 20. So now you can see if we especially look at her torso, this is with the light wrap, this is without it. It is blending the pixels from the explosion onto her body. And we're gonna change the background blur to be maybe like 20. So if we just look at her as I crank up the width, you can see how cool this explosion is. Since this layer is just the light wrap, what I'm gonna do is create a keyframe at 100 for the opacity when the explosion is right here. And before the explosion starts, I'm going to set the opacity to zero. So the light wrap slowly comes on. So this is with the light wrap, this is without it, this is with it. It just blends it in so freaking well, look at that. And then the next thing that really sells at Explosion is Lens Dirt. So I'll drag this Lens Dirt into my composition and you'll see it's just a bunch of like dust that's gathered on the lens. I'm gonna scale it up to be as big as the composition and I'm going to set this to Add. And in Effects and Presets, I'm gonna type in Tint and drag Tint onto this Explosion and I'm gonna set the map to whites to like an orangey yellow. I'm actually going to grab a Curves effect and put that on the dirt as well and just make it brighter. Something like this. So you you can see we have this overlay of lens dirt and we're gonna make it so the explosion lights up dust on the lens. So right here when the explosion is super bright, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a keyframe for opacity and over time set it to zero. So as the explosion comes on, it lights up the dust on the lens. And of course over time we'll set it back to zero. And I'm actually gonna scale this dust up a lot. You can just see how cool it is. Like see this artifact over here on the right, like the explosion lighting up these little artifacts, making it interact with the lens is just incredible. So we have lens dust and then we have light wrapped edges. This explosion just looks amazing. And for a final touch, come up to layer, new and adjustment layer, and we'll drop the curves effect on this as well. And when the explosion is at its brightest, let's create a keyframe for curves and just make everything brighter. Maybe bring in reds, decrease the blues so everything's a little orange. So this is with curves, this is without it. So I will just go over like four frames when the explosion starts and I'll create um, a keyframe for reset, so curves at zero. And so over time the explosion makes the whole frame orange. Wow. Over time, we'll just go to the point where there's no more light from the explosion and we will reset the curves. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make an incredible, perfectly composite explosion just like Mr. Beast. Wow, that is so freaking beautiful. And again, the lens dust, the light wrap plugin, and the explosion, all of these assets will be linked in the description below. And of course, this incredible footage that we're practicing on from Storyblocks. And that is five motion graphic effects from Mr. Beast YouTube videos. If you have any questions about anything I taught you today, leave them in the comment section below. I'll respond to everyone with a question. I post amazing visual effects over on my Instagram that I know you'll love. And don't forget, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.